Hi, this is Tim Von Rieden with cgcookie.com, and for this tip, I'm going to go through how to create a simple dotted and dashed line. This is easy to do, and I will show it first with Photoshop and then with GIMP. Okay, let's get started. So in Photoshop, I created a new document, and I'm going to be doing this on a new layer. So with my brush tool selected, if I lay it down, it creates a nice solid thick stroke. And that's because in my brush um, preset menu, we can see how nothing's checked off. So normally I have shape and other dynamics turned on, which will be affected with my tablet sensitivity. But I'm going to turn those off because we're going to create a dotted dashed line. So in under brush tip shape, if I turn my spacing up, you can see how it starts to affect the sample image down here. And I'm just going to turn it up enough where I'm creating a large enough gap in between the two dots that when I lay it down, it looks like a dotted line. So you can do it freeform, or if you hold shift, it'll create a perfectly straight line. And then if you continue to hold it, but don't press down, and then press somewhere else on the screen, it'll create a line to that point. Like that. And if I wanted to save it, I just go into my brush menu through this uh, down arrow in the blue area, and choose a little sticky note. So name it dotted line. Okay. So now you might want to do a dashed line instead of a dotted line. So what we're going to do, is I'm going to grab my selection tool. I'm going to keep it on the rectangular marquee tool. Draw out the shape. Go back to my brush tool. And I'm just going to fill this in really quick. Now I'm going to deselect it with command D. And if I go to Edit, Define Brush Preset, it'll grab that layer and it'll make a brush out of it. So I'm going to choose OK. And now, under my brush um, presets, you can see how it's one of the ones that are given to you. So now if I mess around and lay it down in my scene, you can see what kind of a shape it'll create. So we're getting there, but we need to just do a little bit of um, editing in the settings to make it a dashed line. So like before, I'm going to turn my spacing up. You can see how that will affect it. And now we want to make it a dashed line. So we got to squish those squares down. So now we have a dashed line. If I hold shift, we can create as many dashed lines as we want. And when we want to save it out, just like before, grab that down black arrow in the blue section, choose a sticky note, and named it dashed line. Okay. I'm also going to delete the one that we don't need anymore. So I'm going to go to the preset manager, and I'm just going to take that one out. And there we go. So then those are my dotted lines. And then those are my dashed lines. It's pretty simple and easy. And now I'm going to go ahead and go over to GIMP. So in GIMP, I'm going to do the same thing. I created a new document, and I'm doing this on a new layer. I'm going to grab my brush tool, and when I lay it down, you see how it creates that solid stroke. And that's because I don't have any of my brush dynamic settings turned on. So now if we look in the bottom right corner over here, under my brush menu, where it says spacing, I'm going to turn that up to about 150. And now, when I go back in and lay it down, it creates that dotted line. And if I click anywhere in the screen, if I hold shift, it'll create that purple line. And what that will do is wherever I click next, it'll create a perfect line from that initial point with the dotted line. Like that. So that's how we create a dotted line in GIMP. And now to do a dashed line, we have to do a little bit more. So if we want a dashed line, we got to first create the dash brush. So I'm going to create my dash. I'm going to fill it in with black. And I got to save this as a brush. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the background layer. And I got to save it in the brush menu. So I got to go File, Save As. 
I'm going to name it dashed line. And I got to make sure I save it in the brush folder. So now to find that, I got to go to um, my name, Devon, which is my computer. Go to library, application support, GIMP, and brushes. So now that I know I'm in the right folder, I got to make sure that I save it out as the right format. So if I go down here to select file type by extension, I'm looking for GBR, which is a standard GIMP brush. Choose save. So now it'll give you this message saying, do you want to flatten the image? But instead we're just going to say export with the merge visible layers on, because only our dashed um, layer is visible. So in here is where we want to change the spacing. So like before, I'm going to change this to 150. So now it won't appear right away, but if I choose the refresh button, you can see how there it is. So now I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. If I lay this brush in here, it created a, a dashed line. And just like before, if I click and then hold shift. If I wanted a perfectly straight line, if you hold control right after, it'll create a perfectly straight horizontal or vertical line. Like that. So that is how we create our um, dotted and dashed line in both Photoshop and GIMP. I hope you learned something, and thanks for watching.